New tonight at 10, school safety efforts took another step forward last September when House Bill 3 officially went into law. That bill requires school districts to have an armed guard on every campus, along with some other features. Tyler Dupnik tells us tonight where our local school districts stand with this months later. That's right, Alex. As school districts have worked to get into compliance, Midland ISD and Ector County ISD have done the same. Implementing new safety features and hiring more officers has increased safety, but there is still more work to be done. In West Texas, schools have become more secure. We've been able to recruit more officers than we thought we might be able to at this point in the year, so pretty happy with our progress. There. ECISD Superintendent Dr. Scott Murray says they have added 10 officers out of a goal of 30. The school district's total now sits at 42. Our biggest issue right now is the officers. We really want to get the personnel on campus to get a, a uniformed officer on every campus in ECISD. That's our biggest push right now. Our, that's our biggest agenda and goal. ECISD Chief of Police Jeff Daniels says that finding the personnel is the challenge. Midland ISD has had to deal with that reality as well, having hired eight new officers to get to 20. The school district's police department has gotten better in this process, says MISD Chief of Police Scott McCowan. Providing better equipment for the officers. We're providing more training. Uh, all of our officers are are or in the process of becoming alert certified, which is advanced law enforcement rapid response training, uh, specifically for active shooters. MISD has also been able to implement more cameras and upgrade door access. ECISD used money from the state to add similar features. You know, ensuring that all of our doors are locked, uh, we have secure access on all of our doors. We've added some fencing, we've added um, uh, intruder resistant glass film to the front of every school. So that body of work has done and been paid for. While the state helped financially in that regard, it has not for the officers. Well, the state has yet to release funding uh, for this expenditure. We added four and a half million dollars to the budget. Uh, about half of that is recurring personnel costs, and the other half of that is for the supplies, materials, equipment that our officers need, the training in order to, uh, to be able to bring these 30 new police officers on board. With more officers still needed, state-funded support would help create school safety and success. Every dollar we can get from the state saves local tax dollars, uh, you know, on our citizens. Also, every dollar that we spend towards security, you know, takes away from the classroom. So as much as we can get from the state is needed. Now, both school districts told me they are working towards getting officers at the elementary school campuses. They also added that these efforts include recruiting and continuing to attract officers.